In this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the most important considerations when you're aging for a healthy body in regards to your hips and low back, and that's maintaining hip extension. How's it going guys? Dr. Chris Silvey back with another episode of Working Body Wednesdays. Working Body Wednesdays is where we talk about posture, functional movement, and hardening your body so it's better able to handle the demands of daily life. Now I wanted to talk about hip extension for several reasons. This is something that I commonly see in our clinic. And when you think about the body, it is a closed system. Meaning if you have back pain, it's certainly important to look at the surrounding joints around the rest of your low back. So whether it's your mid back and also down the chain, like your, your ankle, your knees, and your hips. So when we think about the body and we're looking at the structure of the body, if we look at the low back and then we look at the pelvis, the next significant joint that has a great range of deal of range of motion is the hip. And as we age, if you see people, especially if you look in, for instance, a nursing home and you see people and they're all bent over and, and their legs are in front of them and their legs never really get behind them. They're always picking up their feet and moving them forward, picking up them, their feet and moving them forward. Well, the reality is that we have two, uh, we have two sets here. We have a set of, of very large gluteal muscles in the back, one of the biggest muscles in total surface area in the entire uh, human body, and it's able to create an incredible amount of force. So the weaker that gets and the tighter the front of the hip gets, then the more dysfunction you're gonna have in your gait, your walking, and also potentially low back as well. Changing this mechanic to the bent over kind of position where we're like this and our hip gets tighter in the front also is going to create a lot of pull on the spine as well. So it's very important that we keep the front of the hip long and the back of the hip strong in relation to each other. We wanna have that balance. Now, let's give a couple examples of this. When we are walking, we have to be able to push with the, the glutes. From We can push ourselves forward to help to create that pattern of extension in the hip. When we are stretching the front of the hip, we want to be certain that we're not doing this, where we're just crunching into the low back and hyperextending the low back. If you've ever seen that hands and knees, I'll show you right now, so several of you have probably seen this stretch where you're, you're coming forward, but what a lot of people do is they go like this, and they thrust their hip bone forward instead of keeping the abdominals in slightly and then gliding forward with a small tuck of the pelvis. That can help to open up the front, um, and it's also a great way to stretch out the hip flexors. Of course, some deep tissue work through here will help you as well to open all this up. <clears throat> when we're thinking about extension of the hip, I don't want it to come from the low back, so I don't want it to be like this, where I'm thrusting my ribs out. When we're doing any type of hip extension exercise, you know, you've seen people do just straight leg kickbacks, <clears throat> or sometimes you can do these on your hands and knees where you're supported there in a good position and we're taking the leg behind you. We have to keep the abdominals in so we're not extending at the low back, but in fact, we're coming from the hip. It helps to create a little bit of a reach to through the heel. And so I'm really activating the glutes. When I walk, I need to be able to shift the weight onto my standing leg and create that long line so the glute is propelling me forward. And by thinking of the glutes in this type of function, we're integrating it into the whole chain. So try not to think of the hip in isolation. It's a part of a closed system. There are a million different ways. You can go out and look on YouTube for exercises on, 
on strengthening the glutes all day. Um, I'm not gonna put much more on that there. I just want you to teach, what I try and teach in these videos is concepts. I want to be sure that you're moving from the right place. I don't want you to move and extend from your low back. If you've seen, uh, some, if you're looking for some more ideas on glute extension, look at my other uh, video recently released. I'll, I'll put it up in the, uh, in the corner there, um, the dumb, dumb butt syndrome and, and how to get the glutes to wake up and to isolate that area of your spine, or I mean of your, of your hip. So incredibly important to be thinking about this as we age and to maintain that hip extension so we have a functional gait and we also uh, are not putting pressure on the hips and the low back. This has been another episode of Working Body Wednesdays. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video again. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys, and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday.